They are known as the Rodney King Riots. But Rodney King had nothing to do with the violence of those three nights. Yet his daughter, Laura, only eight years old at the time, and watching the riots on TV, quickly realized her father was at the center. Did you realize the connection of the verdict over your father's beating to what was taking place here in 1992? Initially, I didn't, because I, I didn't know what was going on. And then once I heard people chanting his name, then I realized what was going on. We meet at the infamous corner of Florence and Normandy, flashpoint of the riots. Laura tells me that in 1992, she had just moved into this neighborhood. Now, it was on fire. Do you feel a connection to it or not? You know, it's weird, I do. I get really emotional every time I come here. For some reason, I naturally have a reaction, um, an emotional reaction that's unexplainable to her. It's like, oh. My sister and myself were going to the liquor store and then we realized it was like smoke. And once we got there, our liquor store was literally on fire. Later in a more formal setting, Laura says that she and her dad were very close. They talked about a lot of things, except the beating. We never talked about it much. I purposely didn't because um, we never had intimate moments with our dad um, out in public. And in the house, um, we did, but I just tried to stir away from, you know, those topics because everyone else always talked to him about it. So I wanted to bring something, you know, light to his life. Laura had good reason to avoid certain topics. He would have nightmares. It was very scary. And it was scary because there was nothing I could do to, you know, only to wake him up because it was scaring me. Laura has a life of her own now with two children. In fact, just this month, her teenage daughter made a video project. The subject, racism. And her teacher didn't know about her famous grandfather until that very moment. She did her own research, she read the book, and then she used her interpretation, her own interpretation and her own projective of, of what racism is and what it's done to America and her, you know, what she received from those words that my dad spoke. And it was pretty profound, I was pretty honored. And about those words spoken on the third day of the riots, many wonder about the origin of that statement. Can we, can we all get along? Can we stop making it, making it horrible for, for the, for the older people and the, and the, and the, and the kids? He was actually given something to write, to, um, they to wrote, say. yeah, yeah, and, uh, he didn't. He literally threw it away and spoke from his heart. Please, we can, we can get along here. We, we all can get along. In South L.A., Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News.